at Mercedes, one of our priorities is to make learning more engaging and student-centred. Well done, Amber. And with technology, this is one of the ways that we can do this. So over the past year, Hannah and I have been developing multi-touch books and iTunes U courses. The books have content embedded in it, along with interactive widgets. The widgets are elements within the book that make it more engaging for the students. I like this method because you can drag and drop words to match the images and I also like the, um, the mini quizzes and tests at the end of each chapter to see how you're going. The multi-touch books are an alternative to the standard textbook, especially for courses that, for example, don't have a textbook uh, published or the textbook doesn't go into enough detail. Holly? Foxes. Foxes. So I use the uh, books with my Year 12 General Human Biology course. Because there are only a small number of students enrolled in the course, there aren't any textbooks published as yet. So I've created a series of multi-touch books that cover the Year 12 course content. Well, I find the visuals really work for me. I love how you can click on an image and it provides you with more information. We actually made the books with Catholic Education Western Australia and two other secondary schools. So the content that has been created is distributed through the iTunes store, which means that teachers both across Australia and internationally are able to access these multi-touch books. This initiative brings together teachers to create engaging content in science for our students. It means that we can collaborate to change the way we teach both in the classroom and how students access information at home. The courses are self-paced, which allows um, students to work independently. Because the books are so engaging, the students are getting better results. And on top of this, they are becoming familiar with the latest technologies. 